you know, more importantly, I think that when you think about legacy of what, what we all want in our lives, no matter how much we have, how little we have, I think that, you know, ultimately it's the people that we can affect and the, the causes and the things that we can get behind and, and the impact that we can make, whether if it's the whole world, like Paul did, um, or if it's just our community in our own worlds. And I think Paul was able to do that in so many, in so many different ways. Um, you know, the week before he passed, me and, me, and, me and Sierra were talking to him about music and how much he loved music, you know. I think that um, he was a guy that, you know, had experienced so much through music and, and life. So, we, you know, we, we were able to talk about that, just talk about so many different other moments. But, um, you know, obviously, def we're definitely going to miss Paul a lot. You know, I think that he's been a big factor, not just for the Seattle Seahawks, but for Seattle and really the whole world, um, you know, all the things that he did. So, um, you know, so he'll forever be in our hearts for sure. Most people see a man of that wealth and accomplishment and, and seem he's untouchable. Uh, how personal, how real was he with you, with the locker room and the players? Well, I think Paul, you know, he was always, he was always moving around. You know, he was always, you know, around the world, you know, fixing the world, helping the world, heal the world, um, healing animals all over the world and everything else. Um, you know, Paul was a guy who, when I got to, when I got, really got to know him, you know, <laughs> I'll give you a little story. <clears throat> so. We, uh, you know, we won the NFC Championship game the second year, and I'm on, we're on stage, and uh, I'll never forget this being on stage, and um, you know, we're singing Frank Sinatra, and you know, going headed to New York and everything, you know, and uh, come fly with me and everything else, and so we're we're headed to New York, and everybody's excited, and you know, everybody's just, you know, confetti's flying around and everything else, and I'm singing, I can't sing very good, so I'm I'm singing, you know, you know, and and everything else, and Paul comes up to me, and he goes, you like Frank? You know, I said, yeah, I like Frank. You know, I've always listened to it. You know, I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan. Michael Jackson, you know, Frank Sinatra, Rat Pack, everything else. So, uh, you know, sure enough, you know, uh, you know, I didn't know, you know, you know, I didn't know Paul loved music that much. And uh, you know, sure enough, you know, the next day, you know, uh, I had a little note, you know, and, and it had a, a bunch of uh, you know old CDs of his, you know, that he had just personal personal CDs and. And everything else of his that he had of, of the Rat Pack and Frank Sinatra, and uh, it was just a cool little gift, you know, just a, of just a, of just thinking about music and everything else, you know, nothing huge, but just the kind of person that he was, and it, just to be able to talk to him about, you know, not just his success, but also, you know, the things that he had, he had gone through. Obviously, you know, having cancer early on in his life and everything else, and what that meant, and all the things that he's done around cancer and brain research and everything else. Um, the thing about Paul is he always had a purpose to everything he did. You know, I think that um, that purpose will live forever. You know, I think that purpose will continue to uh, impact lives, um, impact communities. Um, you know, just you know, just to be able to see that and experience that. You know, you know, and you know, he was a quiet guy. You know, for sure. But I think that you know, Paul, if you really got to know him, he wasn't very quiet. You know, he, he loved music. He loved he loved people. You know, um, and so I think that's what he did, and that's why he. That's part of the reason why I wanted to create Microsoft and do all the things. He was very creative, uh, but ultimately, I think he loved people more than anything else.